Hi everyone, Frank Hackett here from Retro Barber Shop. So this haircut is going to resemble a 1970s style rock star haircut. Um, once we have the internal shape of the haircut done, I'm going to be using lots of freehand techniques just to personalize the haircut and give it a more individual look. So the first thing we do is create a profile section from the front right back to the crown area. Okay, so we've created our um, profile section and what we're going to do now is we're going to take vertical sections on the top of the head and we're going to start on the front hairline and work backwards towards the crown. So this is going to establish the overall balance of the haircut. It'll also help in distributing the weight and the interior layering of the cut also. So it's really important to keep good tension and good body posture when we're doing this. As you can see, I'm working back the head, dividing the profile section in two taking my section and just cutting straight across. So using the recession area as a guide, we now take a section from the front hairline right back to the crown. And we do this on both sides of that original profile section. So this should leave us with a rectangular section on the top part of the head. So starting at the crown area, we're going to take horizontal sections working from the crown all the way to the front of the hairline. So as you can see here, the profile section is our guide and we're just taking a straight line and cutting it across. Working our way forward in nice small sections, keeping the width to about one quarter of an inch. So we're trying to create a nice square flat shape as we work from the crown area towards the front hairline. So as we approach the hairline, try and avoid any over direction. Remember we're trying to create a square flat shape as we approach the front of the hairline. So now we move to the area behind the crown where we create vertical sections over the crown using the top section as your guideline. Elevate the hair straight up and cut a square line. Use over direction and your previous section as a guideline and try and connect the remaining crown area. So now we part the hair in the center parting and we're going to work on the side of the head so the upper side area just along the round of the head. So I'm trying to create a flatter shape around the round of the head. By bringing my hands out at more of a flatter angle I maintain the length of the perimeter of the haircut. If I cut it more of a square angle it's going to remove too much length and cut it shorter on the perimeter. Keep working with parallel sections along the round of the head. Don't forget to keep your sections flat, maintaining length at the perimeter. So as we go into the back area, keep working through the back in the same manner as you did on the sides, maintaining length around the perimeter. So now we move to the opposite side and we repeat the process. So keep working along the round of the head with parallel sections, maintaining the length around the perimeter of the haircut. So keep those sections nice and flat along the round of the head. Continue with the process through the crown using vertical sections in the crown as your guide. This process will complete the shape we are looking for. So now we move on to the side area just underneath the round of the head. We're going to be doing internal layering and taking my guide from the previous sections I cut along the round of the head. I'm elevating my sections out from the head and this is going to keep length along the perimeter. So as I work through the back area I work in the same manner, elevating my fingers out 
keeping that length on the lower area and also working with over direction. Keep working through the back part of the haircut and the back midsection using your elevation to keep length at the perimeter. So now I keep working through the back area, taking parallel vertical sections, again keeping my hand nice and flat, which creates nice elevation and protects the length along the perimeter of the haircut. Now we need to cross check the haircut, starting at the front hairline Take horizontal sections and work back. Check the haircut for balance. There shouldn't be any length really to take off. This is really just a dusting process. I repeat this process on the sides. Again, just to check the areas that I've already previously cut. Just checking for balance and just dusting off any loose ends. So now we move on to the most creative part of the haircut. This is where we get to do freehand cutting. So basically what we're trying to achieve here is remove weight from the haircut and create the shape that we're looking for. So these texturizing techniques are going to create a lot of natural movement in the hair. I'm literally just taking up sections wherever I feel I need to go in and create more texture and more movement. So it's very visual. Um, but it's a great way of adding really, really strong texture to the hair. So as I go through the sides and the back area, it's the same process. It's a combination of this deep texturizing technique and also slicing the hair. Keep using your fingers to check for movement and I'm trying to create a really nice flat look across the back of the head while maintaining the length around the perimeter of the haircut. So that's nearly the finished look. Um, you can personalize the haircut with your own um, favorite texturizing techniques. Uh, basically to style this hair, I use 1922 GM Kuhn Premier Paste just to get a little bit of hole and just to kick out that length on the ends. So there it is. There's the finished look of my interpretation of the 1970s rock star haircut. Very loose, very textured, but very cool.